Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we'll be installing the cheapest 12,000 pound wish I could find on Amazon. Okay, so going back to the claim I made a moment ago that this is the cheapest 12,000 pound winch on Amazon. There's a couple caveats with that. Uh, one being the time. Um, at the time that I got this, it was $329 and I believe it was the cheapest one that I could find. Um, and also synthetic rope. So I wanted to go synthetic rope for um, a couple of reasons, uh, safety and weight. Um, and you can definitely find a cheaper model if you do go steel, but for me and for my needs, I definitely needed to go synthetic. Okay, to give you the full backstory on how I ended up with this model, I ended up watching uh, a Project Farm video like I do a lot of the times, and he was testing uh, winches. So in his test, he was testing a lot of name brands, uh, Warren and Smittybill and a couple of random Amazon brands as well. And in that, there was this brand called Zeke. So I reached out to Zeke and basically asked them if they wanted to uh, team up and bas basically send me a winch to test out and to do a review on. And they were all game for it and then somehow um, all their winches sold out. I think that's probably due to the Project Farm video that came out where basically everyone was sold on it and sold on the price and they all snagged them up. So they, they eventually sent me a link for this. I guess it's called, it's a Tyrannosaurus 12,000 pound winch. And um, they basically told me that it's basically the same exact uh, build as the Zeke's. It's made, made at the same factory, owned by the same company. And as you can probably tell by the way it's constructed, it looks like a lot of other winches coming out of China. So this is coming out of China. Um, I mean, for the price, like, I don't think you could expect it being made in the US. But, uh, I mean, it seems like such a bargain and the fact that they're, that it won the Project Farm test and it's equivalent to it, essentially, I was really excited to try it out. All right, so now I just want to go over basically what you get for $329. Uh, I will start with the winch itself. And from what I can tell, it's an all aluminum housing, um, which I didn't really know what to expect. I've never owned a winch before. And I didn't know if these ones coming from China would be uh, plastic or anything like that. but this housing in the case is all aluminum. Um, I'm fairly certain that this uh, clutch lever, if you will, or switch is made out of steel. I put a magnet to it and it did uh, grab slightly. So maybe like a, some sort of stainless steel. Um, let's see. This one also comes with a 3 8 inch synthetic line, which I think is pretty a pretty typical size for this uh, weight range. It comes with, sorry, I'm just looking at my cheat sheet here. It comes with a six horsepower motor, let's see, and it's got a 236 to one gear ratio. When there's no load on it, it pulls it in at 21 feet per minute. And when it's at full load, it's about at five feet per minute. I don't really know where those numbers stand in comparison to other brands or other models, but I figured I'd just give them to you in case uh, those numbers are important to you. So just going over the rest of the components that come with this winch, you do get an aluminum fair lead, um, and you need that with the synthetic line. You do get this pretty beefy and it looks pretty cool to me, this uh, forged hook. I don't know if I'll be using this long term. I do want to go uh, basically no metal um, with new soft shackles and I'll probably end up removing this, I guess, uh, loop here, this metal loop, removing that and uh, going synthetic line for everything. But it's, it's nice that it's included and it looks a lot better than some of those cheap uh, hooks that come with some of these lower price winches. Um, here's obviously the controller, uh, this mounts on top if you want, uh, that's how I plan on using it. And it comes with all of the cables you would need. I did do some uh, investigating on these, I confirmed with the part number on the, on the ring terminal here and the outside diameter of the, water on the, of the wire that these are two gauge wires. So that's nice to see uh, coming, again, coming from at such a good price point. Um, Going back to the wire real quick, you do have six feet of battery terminal leads uh, to get you from the winch to the battery, which um, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, with my setup uh, will be sufficient, but we'll see when we get there. Um, as far you also get a uh, basically a circuit breaker that you can mount somewhere, probably in the engine bay, and the wire that would connect it to the battery. All right, and the last two things here are the controllers. Unfortunately, uh, you do have two separate controllers. One is wireless and the other one is wired. 
going back to the Zeke brand, they have a platinum model where it's, it's a two in one, which would have been nice, but honestly, I think this is gonna work just fine. And again, at the price point, I really don't think you can beat it. Okay, so with that out of the way, I do wanna go over uh, my plan with this. I do plan on building a winch cradle uh, for this. And basically, I think I can make it uh, my own for uh, cheaper than some, some models online. And also, I, I kind of have a unique situation with my, my custom-made bumper up front. So I'm going to do that myself, and I'll show you how I do that. Um, but by doing that, I can basically make the winch usable at, at the front and the rear of the truck, which I think is a pretty valuable feature. I do plan on storing this in the bed. It will have a two-inch square, square tube um, coming out of it that's made to go in a hitch receiver. And so I do plan on putting that on my bed rack as well to keep keep it out of the way, keep the weight towards the rear of the vehicle. Um, with that, with it being removable, I do plan on running Anderson connectors at both the front and rear. I think for this video, I'll just be doing the wiring in the front. Eventually, I'll, uh, I'll buy a bunch of, I think one wires wire is probably what I'm gonna go with, and run that from the front battery all the way to the rear of the truck to make it uh, super useful and functional. All right, so now I'm gonna go and get started on making the uh, winch cradle. And I don't really think I'm gonna cover that in this video. Uh, there's a ton of videos on how to do that. Maybe I'll make a short about it and it might already be posted at the time you're viewing this. But um, I'll basically, I think I'm gonna use 3 16 plate and use a two inch piece of tube uh, coming out from Amazon actually. So I'll put a link in the description for that. And I'm gonna put a link in the description for all of this by the way. Um, anyway, I'll show you the finished product and then we'll start uh, doing the final mounting and wiring of all this. Okay, so I have to take a break from making the winch plate. I'm waiting on some parts to be delivered um, so I can weld everything up. But, um, so I do have the bottom plate on and so I figured I'd take advantage of the time and uh, try to get the wiring kind of set up on this. Okay, so as you can see, I got the winch set up on the floor jack here. It's approximately at the position it will be once it's mounted to the uh, hitch in the front of the bumper here. Uh, it's behind the lights back there. You can't really see it. Uh, it's kind of dark, but it's back there. Um, fitment. I mean, obviously, I'm not running the truck like this, so it's not a huge deal. Um, I am kind of worried about leverage, but um, I think this is as good as it's going to get. I don't... I guess I could kind of lift up the, the winch itself on the plate, maybe add a riser or something, but I'm not really sure if I want to do that because right now... Basically, we're running into the wires are running into the valence and the bumper here. So not super ideal. I'm really, really kind of, I mean, now we have four inches or so between the winch and the bumper that isn't really necessary. So I guess I'll have to figure out how I want to handle that. But anyway, what I want to do right now is I want to find a path from the battery uh, down to eventually to get to the winch. I do plan on... Um, using some Anderson connectors. Uh, let me grab those real quick. So here is a set of two of them. I got off these off Amazon and I'll throw a link down into the description. Essentially, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you have seen these, kind of like these industrial outdoors type uh, quick disconnects. Um, so I plan on mounting those under the truck and I think I'm going to put it kind of, hopefully the lighting's okay. So here's the body mount. I think I want to put it right here, um, kind of hug the body mount, have it nice and tight there. Um, it should kind of hide up out of the way. I mean, if you're looking for it, you'll probably see it, but um, it should be pr really protected down there and uh, be easy to access uh, for when we need it. So that's uh, kind of the important part. All right, I got everything all wired up and I'm really happy with how it turned out. The wiring that came with the winch was sufficient. Um, obviously your mileage is gonna vary on that one. Um, my battery is up at the front of my, I guess, engine bay. If yours is towards the back, you might have some uh, limitations, but really, I mean, a lot of winch stuff is really like custom setups and um, so you might have to figure it out. But yeah, essentially, I just I wired it right to the battery here. I've got my ground cable. I've got my power cable. I've got that circuit breaker box that came with the, uh, the kit or with the winch. I've got it tucked in here. It's uh, fairly secure, not really worried about that too much, but all that runs pretty much straight down, uh, like in front of the wheel well here. Show you what it looks like. Uh, if you peek in there, you can see the wires come down, and then they come over to my Anderson connector that I currently have zip tied on there. 
we'll see. I was kind of thinking about bolting it, uh, but then I was kind of thinking if this gets caught on something, um, it'd be nice if the uh, if the zip ties could just break and have this flop off versus uh, having this whole um, connector that, that I permanently mount break off. So, um, and as you can see, I currently have the winch plugged in down there. Let's see how easy, if I can do this with one hand. I don't know if I will be able to, but there we go. So it easily just uh, pops on and off. Have these really nice covers here that'll keep the water out of the front at least. I am kind of, oh, come on, there we go. I am kind of worried about mud and stuff um, coming into the back of this connector and, and water. Maybe I'll fill out with silicone or something like that. Um, we will see, I'll have to think about it. But right now, here it is. I've got the, I've got everything kind of loosely connected for a little like test just to make sure it works. So um, let's do it. We're gonna go out first. Oh, okay, there we go, we've got power. Whoop, oh, now I just broke my zip tie there, no big deal. But it's going in and out. Um, so I think it works. So now just to finish the uh, the winch plate or the winch cradle, whatever you want to call it, uh, my last part comes in today and then we'll be able to uh, put onto the front of the truck and uh, give it a test, get the, uh, get the line all stretched and in, into position. All right, so I got the removable winch plate all made. Um, I did a YouTube short about that. So if you're uh, curious on how I construct it, uh, look, look for that. Uh, but yeah, I got a coat of steel on it now and I have it ready to basically mount the winch up um, And within the first 10 seconds of putting this in um, I know I'm gonna have to do some reinforcement of basically the receiver uh, The winch plate that I have back here holding the receiver in uh, I think this actual removable part is really strong, but as you can see there's a lot of flex and that's all happening. Man, let's see if I can get in here. It's all happening in this Harbor Freight winch plate that I heavily modified to get in here. So I, it lost a lot of strength that way. And maybe I should have known better, but um, I guess you don't know until you try. So it, after this is all done and after I've got the winch mounted up and, um, you know, get that all finished up, I'll go through here and um, reinforce it, maybe add some gusseting just to strengthen up and get rid of that flex. But as far as this video, I'm just going to mount up the winch and I'm going to pretension the line. Uh, and that should pretty much wrap up this video. And then in the next video, I will be doing a straight line pull to do some, just some testing and see how much power this thing has. All right. So one thing I don't know if I mentioned yet is that, uh, this kit comes with all the hardware. Um, they are all a metric grade 8.8 .8 volts, which uh, that's that's a new one to me. I'm used, usually using like grade 8 volts, but basically it's a uh, kind of equivalent to a grade 5 based on tensile strength. Um, I don't know how uh, rust resistant they're going to be, so uh, we'll check that out, and I'll let you know in the future if the how they hold up. All right, so I'm just gonna pre-tension this real quick and let's give it a shot. Um, I've got, let's see, so I've got the uh, truck set up here um, with the uh, parking brake on. I've got 
the uh, the old F-150 all the way out in the street right now. I'm gonna pull it. Um, I think measurement wise, I think it's I, I think it's right around 90 feet approximately of, of line. Um, so it's a pretty good amount. And yeah, so I'm just gonna give it a shot and uh, make it happen. All right, so real quickly, I just wanna wrap this video up. Obviously, this was just a first look. We got it all set up um, and did some testing on it, so that way I could kind of form some initial opinions. Um, and obviously, long-term durability and reliability, that's something that's gonna be uh, have to be seen. But for the most part, um, I'm really impressed. Everything worked out of the box. Um, I did test off-camera the wireless remote. That worked just fine. Um, it was really easy to use actually as far as like the quality goes like man nothing nothing was damaged everything the finish on everything looks really nice so I can't really complain there um, for the price I'm really impressed I, I thought it was going to be kind of cheesy or hokey or seem cheap but that that does not seem to be the case like like it's this is the bracket moving but man like the winch itself is just, it feels burly and heavy duty. So I'm excited to have this with me uh, for future off-roading events. And I'm, I'm really excited just to have it uh, if I'm out alone with my family because um, it's really, it's usually pretty comforting when you're riding with someone else or driving with someone else. Um, so that way you can help recover each other. But this gives you self like recovery ability, which is uh, really valuable to me. And at this price point, it makes it really uh, tangible for everyone. So, all right, so let me know if you have any questions. Like I said before, there's gonna be a follow-up video on this where I do some testing and uh, see, see how it does. And uh, yeah, so watch out for that. All right, well, have a good one. Thanks for watching.